congratulations to you on your effort and dedication to your sport. Holland Christian has a tradition of hard work, perseverance, and fair play. These are the values Craig Brink learned as an athlete and graduate of Holland Christian and what he tries to apply each day on behalf of his real estate clients. Craig would be honored to serve you in your real estate needs. Put his 26 years of experience to work for you. Contact Craig Brink with 5 Star Real Estate at craigbrink.com. A great team doesn't happen overnight. It takes years of conditioning and hard work. It takes vision and a serious commitment to be the best you can be to strengthen and empower the team to its full potential. This is the legacy of Barber Ford. From your first step into the showroom to your regular oil changes, even to service and body work, commitment to serving you. And it reaches further than that into the community with a commitment. Online at barberford.net. And now live at the Holland Civic Center for his pregame comments, here's my partner, Scott Nice. All right, good evening, everyone. The Maroons are back at home tonight to face the Crusaders from Unity Christian. Holland Christian will be looking to avenge a loss at Unity Christian back on January 8th, where the Maroons were defeated soundly 63-42. to In that game, Gabe Overway was injured early on for the Maroons, and Ethan Alderink was attempting to play through an injury. Holland Christian led that game at the end of the first quarter, but Unity pulled away in the second quarter and never looked back. Holland Christian is coming off a big 70-50 victory over Hamilton last Friday night, sending their record in the OK Green to 6-1 and 11-2 and and overall. Ethan Alderink led the Maroons in scoring again with 22 points on their way to victory. Tonight's challenge against conference-leading Unity Christian will certainly be a big test for the Maroons. I feel the Maroons have been slowly and consistently improving with each game since that last game versus Unity. And I'm expecting this to be a great matchup and an exciting game here tonight. It's the last thing you see when you leave your house and the first thing you see when you arrive home. Cold, dull, boring. It's your garage door. It's time for a Clopay garage door from Quality Door Company. Go modern with wood, steel, maybe even more of a contemporary look with aluminum and glass. Freshen up the first and last thing you see at home with a garage door from Quality Door Company. A Clopay Master Authorized Dealer. Holland, Grand Rapids, Muskegon, and South Haven. Online at qualitydoor.biz. You want your printing to make that first impression a good impression. Business leaders, schools, and churches confidently choose Zealand Print Shop for all their printing. From business cards to large corporate printing, from vinyl banners to window crafts, the printer of choice is Zealand Print Shop. You'll easily find them on Main Street in downtown Zealand next to the post office. Zealand Print Shop is pleased to bring you high school basketball on the pledge. So let's dig a little deeper into a comparison of Unity Christian and Holland Christian to see if it'll help us get a handle on what might happen here tonight. Back on January 8th, the Scott told you the Maroons were beaten rather soundly by 21 points. Now, why did that happen? Well, first, in my opinion, the Maroons committed too many turnovers. Unity likes to jump into passing lanes, and any lazy lob passes are going to be deflected or intercepted. Also, Unity likes to slap at the ball. If you get caught just holding it in one position for more than a second, somebody's going to try and slap it out of your hands, and that always seems to take Holland Christian by surprise. And third, Unity shoots well, and they have three very capable scorers. Vancouvering, Veldhaus, and Taken scored a total of 45 points against the Maroons in January. That was enough to beat the Maroons without the help of any of their teammates. However, if you're looking for reasons why things might be different this time, well, Scott said it. Ethan Aldrink did not play well, only scored six points in that one. He probably should not have played in that game as he recovered from that hip injury. And the Unity game in January was the game during which Gabe Overway broke his ankle. Now, Overway is not back yet, but the Maroons have more or less gotten used to playing without him. Meanwhile, Aldrink has been on a tear in the four games since his return from a couple of games off. Ethan has scored a total of 85 points. And if my math is right, that's an average of something over 20 points per game. Tonight, Alan Christian looks to break their long losing streak to the Crusaders. And I, for one, can't wait to see how this one turns out. Standings in the OK Green right now. Unity Christian 7-0. Maroons in second at 6-1. and one. The next closest team, Zealand West, at 3-3. Three and three. Right now, here is your public address announcer. Respect the dedication of all coaches, respect the professionalism of all officials, and respect the efforts of both teams. 
Back with you from the Civic Center and just about ready for the introduction of starting lineups for tonight's ball game. And once again, well, let's public address announcer do it tonight. And I'll be back with you in just a second. about ready to go with this one from the Civic Center. Sorry about the late join for those of you listening on radio. 
And welcome to those of you listening on HC Live, or I should say watching on HC Live. A little bit of a difference in the starting lineup tonight, Scott, with Brady Howe yep. getting a start for the Maroons of Holland Christian. We had heard that Wilvin Weir might have been out with a little bit of an illness earlier this week. So Brady Howe getting a start for the Maroons. Helbert's going to step in against T.J. Van Coovering to get this one underway. For a tie for the lead for the Maroons in the OK Green. Here we go. And Van Coovering gets it in the backcourt to Takens. Take off on the left side to Zach Veldhaus. Veldhaus goes and back out it comes to Zach Veldhaus. He will drive from the left and draw the foul. And I think it's going to be Helbert's foul. Nope, Brady Howe's foul. Never anticipate the strikes, Roger. You know better than that. So Zach Veldhaus looking to open the scoring in this one. Puts it up and it is no good. 15 seconds in, no score from the Civic Center. The Maroons of Holland Christian against the Crusaders from Unity Christian. Feldhouse, the super sophomore for Unity. Yep, and good with that one. So he does, in fact, open the scoring in the game. He had 16 against the Maroons back in January. Handed on a weave to Vince Overway. Vince with the dribble right side. off the back of the iron offensive rebound Mock up partially blocked now Vince had his hands on it for a moment we're all fighting for it and we're gonna end up with a held ball and alternating possession will leave it down here to our right with the Crusaders um, Unity Christian on the road they dress in gray this year trimmed in white Brady Howe baseline right to throw it in for Holland Christian he'll throw it left corner Vince overway catch and shoot three is good Vince double clutched a little bit on that one, but got it to go. As of today, what is the Trinity College, I believe, in Chicago, or Chicago Land area anyway, to play basketball? Signing ceremony today at Holland Christian. Great poke away there by Bachman on the baseline. 3 1 Maroons, and it'll be Wisweary to throw it in. And the Maroons will steal it. Turnover number one for Unity. Here's Halbert, open on the left, but he's going to turn down the shot. This Straight up man-to-man -man defense by Unity. They do switch on all screens. Here is Halbert, the runner in the lane, had it blocked. And Vancouvering comes away with the basketball. He'll get it ahead to Wiswery. Wiswery in the lane, spins, hands to TJ for a three. Vancouvering way short with it. Ball out of bounds, and it's going to belong to Unity. Or rather, to Holland Christian, my bad. 3-1 Maroons just underway, 6.39 left to play in the first period. Half-court defense by the Crusaders as Brady Howe walks it into the front court. Who tried to bounce it inside and threw it through the wrong guy. So Howell called on Helbert. Jackson picks up his first, team second. And Chandler Collins to the stripe for the Crusaders. That shot was already in the air and out of the hands of the, out of the hands of Collins there when Halbert blocked it. And that free throw is no good. One more coming for Chandler Collins. This one's up and good. So it's a three. this time gets it into the front court. Maroons go left to right as we view the court from high above the new Civic Center floor. Aldrink tried to get it underneath to Halbert, and Halbert couldn't catch the bounce pass. Maroons turn it over twice, and here we go again. Maroons had 20 turnovers against the Crusaders back in January, and that was one of the big reasons for their downfall in that ball game. The first two have been unforced, which makes it even a little bit worse. Belthouse outside the arc, up top, Takens. Tried to fire it inside. Somehow the Maroons come away with it. And here is Aldrink with a big Euro step and a foul on Unity Christian. They're scraping Wiswery up off the floor. We'll see if it's on him. It is. So Noah's first will be the team's first. Thank you. 
Ethan Aldrink comes to the strike to shoot a pair. First one's on the way and good. Ethan just six points against Unity, suffering from that sore hip. He's averaging 16.7, but a little over 20 in his last four games. Up and good again. That will make it a 5-2 lead for Holland Crick. Off on the right side to Belthouse. Belthouse holding. Now he'll dribble it to the free throw line and hand it to Wisbury. His NBA three is on the way. No good. And that hit the basket support out of bounds to Holland Christian. Unity starting out a little bit cold. And Coach Sotsma gets Derek Slager in to replace Ryan Tickens. Slager, number 22, the first substitute of the ball game. Wiswery triggers baseline right. He's looking. He'll lob it out in front for Slager. Around in the right corner it goes to Wiswery. He dribbles it up to the wing, steps inside, throws it cross court. Collins for two, no. And Aldrink and Belthouse were fighting for the rebound, and the Maroons come away with it. Helbert catches left wing and holds. Up top for Overway. Double team Vince at the free throw line, not Aldrink. Aldrink fouled, followed by Slager. Aldrink lost him for a moment, got double teamed on the baseline. Vince's second three pointer of the ball game makes it 8 2, Holland Christian. Now Vancouverink at the right elbow, picks up his dribble there, up top to Collins. Collins mid post left, turns and fires from 10, no good. Rebound for Makna, Holland Christian. Albert, nice catch, stopped, and then a dribble, and then he bounced it off of his own foot. Turnover, Holland Christian, number three. Another unforced error. And now we'll get Logan DeWitt for Holland Christian, replacing uh, Jackson Helbert. And with the score 8 2, Maroons leading. We have 439 left in the first. Whisbury walks it up the right side of the court. You know, no looking off on the right side to Collins. Collins lobs it inside, intended for Vancouvering. Bad pass. Mutma comes away with it, third. To Aldrink, and one official said Unity, the other one said Holland Christian, and he said it more vocally. So it'll stay here with the Maroons, tipped out of bounds by Unity. In for Unity, Luke Snoik, a junior, number 21. Aldrink baseline left, lobs it in for Mukma. Mukma touch pass up top for Brady Howe. Around on the right to DeWitt. Logan at the top. With it. Now they'll get it out for a three up and good by Grant Bolser. Bolser snuck into the ball game on me. He didn't score against the Maroons. And now Unity with another turnover on a long pass. Wiswery up top. Left side to Slager. Slager leaves it outside for Snuick. Snuick over on the right side as Wiswery put one up. Flop, no call. Offensive rebound, Vancouvering. Underneath, can't get the layup. Tip won't go. And now finally on a over the back call. Aldrink, who didn't like that call at all. That's his first team's third. Helbert's back in. Brady Howe's going to sit down. And Wiswery's going to throw it in baseline right. 8-5 Maroons, 3.40 left first period. Now oh, there's a beautiful inbounds play. It bounced to TJ on the right block, and he just put it up and in. Somebody lost TJ Vancouver. Maroons. He will drive, and that's going to be a push called on Luke Snoink. Snoink's first, team second. And Maroons will get it out of bounds on the baseline right. And we'll see Case Vanderzee for the first time tonight. Aldrink's going to get a rest. 8-7, Maroons lead it. 3.26 left first period. And now the scorer's table has an issue. Not sure what they're worried about, but probably who the last foul was called on. I guess. A couple officials talking about it. And now... T.J. Vancouvering trying to explain something. 
<laughs> I think they went to the Unity players to ask who the foul was at. Yeah, I think they did too. <laughs> I've never seen that before. It is on 21, as we said. That's Luke Snoink. <laughs> Logan DeWitt, baseline right for the Maroons. This one's been sloppy so far. Logan goes left corner for Overway. He will drive and then throw it up top. Albert. Albert. DeWitt back to Muckman. Vince spins a couple of. Good. Great. And Christian. Now it's Whistler running the other way. And missed the shot, but drew the foul. And this one's going to be on Logan DeWitt, his first team's fourth. One, two, well, I've got four scoreboard, and the public address announcer say five, so I missed one on somebody. And at any rate, Noah Whistler at the line for Unity. Had three points against him back in January and misses the free throw. Bruins by three, just under three to play in the first quarter. It's 10-7. Unity only two of five from the line here in the first quarter. Ryan Takens is coming in, and Vancouvering will get what I'm sure will be a brief rest. TJ just two points in the first five minutes of the ballgame. Whistwery, one more free throw coming. Up and good. And now uh, where will sit down, and Evan Neuenheis, the junior, will check in. For Unity, 10-8 Maroons. Full court pressure now from the Crusaders. Logan DeWitt still in the back court, guarded by Neuenheis. Has it now into the front court and hands to Overway. Knocked out of his hands, and that's turnover number five already for Holland Christian. This is Neuenheis with it. Off on the right side, Takens. Takens off the right side of the lane to Snowick. Snowick outside for a three ball that's up and good by Neuenheis. you got to guard all the exits. They can bring shooters off the bench, one right after the other. And a weave to DeWitt. Halbert, three ball, left side, no good. And an offensive rebound for Vince Overway. Back to DeWitt for three. Not that time either. Offensive rebound, Machma. Underneath, Vanderzee, touch it up and in case, Vanderzee. That'll make it 12-11, Maroons with 2.04 left in the first period. Takens with it. Up top, Neuenheis, left side, Takens. Down in the left corner for Slager. Slager underneath for Snowing. And outside it comes to Takens. They're a little bit lost without Vancouvering out there on offense. A tip up that will lay on the rim and not go, and finally rebounded by the Maroons. Jackson Halbert ahead to Vince Overway. On the run, nice body control to avoid the charge. Overway with the layup. Balser was sitting there underneath the basket. And... Now, well, why this isn't a turnover, they stopped it after Unity had thrown it in. I guess... The official made a mistake thinking that uh, Neuenheis couldn't run the baseline. And then he was corrected and said, okay, we'll just do it over. So Holland Christian with a three-point lead and 125 left in the first period. Balls are with it in the center circle here at Civic Center. You get it deep left of Veldhaus. Back to Vancouvering who's back in with Veldhaus. And a three. Bound to overway ahead. Vanderzee beat everybody down to court. Missed the layup and drew the foul. Neuenheis was there trying to catch up, couldn't do it, in case Vanderzee's going to the line to shoot two. Vanderzee went down hard there on the end line, but uh, jumped right up. For Neuenheis, his first, team's third. And here is Case Vanderzee at the strike for Holland Christian. Just a 43% free throw shooter, averaging just under two points a game, and he missed the free throw. Still a three-point lead for Holland Christian with 107 left to play in the first period. Vanderzee's second is on the way, and that one's good. So with a minute and five left, Maroon leads Wells to four. 
And here is Balser with it up top. He slips, goes down to a knee, but maintains the dribble. Now off on the left side, Neuenheis. In the left corner, they get it to Slager. Slager up top. Touch pass inside Veldhaus to TJ from 14. No good. And Vancouvering misses another shot. Offensive or defensive rebound from Machma. Now Machma saved it from the baseline. And now Halbert with the drive. And that's going to be a blocking foul. It'll go. Halbert. How did he make that shot go? Nice little continuation call there. And the basket's good. Halbert's got four, and he'll go to the line to shoot one. Seems like Halbert was hanging in the air there for a few seconds. Grant Balser's foul, his first team's fourth. Wiswery back in, and Chandler Collins also coming back. Newman Heiss, one of those to sit down. Got Vancouver, Inc., Slager, Collins, Velthaus, and Wiswery out there for Unity right now. Meanwhile, Jackson Halbert at the stripe, a 75% free throw shooter. Got his average up to seven and a half of all game. That one off the iron, no good. Vancouvering in the rebound to Whistler. Here comes Unity down by six. 28 seconds left for right wing Veldhaus. Collins off the right side of the lane, makes his way down to the block. Double team there, muscles it up and good for Chandler Collins. He was double teamed and still found a way to get it up and in. It's a 17-13 game with 12 seconds left in the first. Logan DeWitt will drive all the way up and in, blocked by Vancouver and out of bounds to Holland Christian. 5.6 seconds left. Unity Christian, all their players coached to fall down if somebody blows by them. So far, they haven't fooled the officials. That's a missed three by DeWitt. Fired from three-quarter court, no good after one. Holland Christian by 4, 17, 13. You're listening to high school basketball on the pledge. And we will talk through this break because I made a technical error that I will have to fix, which I am in the process of doing. Scott, what have you seen in the first quarter of this one? Whoops, let me turn. Boy, I'm really good tonight. There's your mic. Good energy by both teams here in the first quarter. Uh, good to see the Maroons hitting some shots, making a couple threes. Uh, Unity, though, is playing that typical defense, poking the ball away. I think you said the Maroons had five turnovers here already in the first quarter. That's way too many if the Maroons are going to stay in this game against the Crusaders. I totally agree. And uh, a fair amount of fouls called four against, well, five against the Maroons and four against Unity. Turnovers were uh, a lot early and have settled down a bit now. We have five on the books for Holland Christian and three on the chart for Unity Christian. So 17-13 at the end of one. They're averaging 15.2 and now of course we're going to get music playing. Where'd that come from? I have no idea. At any rate, the amazing, it is amazing how many things can go wrong in one evening. At least I think we've got the signal thing fixed. So it'll be Veldhaus to get it in to Wiswery as Unity has the ball to begin the second period. Veldhaus, right wing, holding on the sideline, will lob it for Vancouvering up high. Vancouvering down the right side of the lane, jump stop, waits for the double team to clear and puts it in. And he laid it up and in very easily. Vancouvering with four on the evening. We make it 17-15 Maroons. Overway. Up top, Will Van Weeren in for the first time tonight. And now Logan DeWitt. And they're going to call a hold. Must have been away from the basketball because I certainly didn't see it. I think he called it on Veldhaus. Yep. So that's one on Veldhaus and five on the team. One apiece. Five different players. Fouls for unity. Quarter court left. Mutma will lob it all the way into the back court for DeWitt. Logan, around a screen by Muckma. Muckma gets it back, looking and hands to Helbert. They cut Helbert off, so he just reverses it to Van Weeren. Van Weeren looking, trying to deny overways Vancouvering. Helbert, DeWitt, DeWitt at the left elbow, runner, no. And Vancouvering had the rebound, knocked out of his hands by Van Weeren. Now Logan for three, no, it won't stay down. Muckma fights for the rebound and comes away with it. He thought it was a quick whistle. He and Veldhaus were tied up. And you got to give the officials credit on that one. It was held long enough by both of them to create the held ball. 
alternating possession, gives it to Holland Christian, and Ryan Takens is going to check back in. And this opportunity for Unity, Slager will sit down. Runs by two, a minute in two, period number two. Logan DeWitt, standing baseline right. Will lob it in for Mukma. Mukma up top for Van Weeren. Will hands it to DeWitt. DeWitt dribbling. Kicks it back outside. Halbert, long three on the way. Good! Jackson lined that one up and got it to go. That is... Logan DeWitt. Taken quickly the other way, all the way under the basket. Threw it away. Steal by Overway. Turnover number four for Unity. Halbert to DeWitt up top. Say he did walk. Six turnovers, Holland Christian. And not because Unity's slapping it away from him or stealing passes. <laughs> They are, as Scott said, unforced errors. Takens is going to fire a three off the catch from the left. No. Rebound tipped out by Mutma into the hands of DeWitt. Here come the Maroons. DeWitt will hand it right there to Van Weeren. Van Weeren to the free throw line. Leaves it up top for Overway. Overway loses Veldhaus momentarily. Out of the corner. Mutma for three. Got it! Chris Mutma. Great catch and shoot. His first basket of the night, 23-15, Holland Christian. That's very close to a walk by Wiswery, but instead the officials bailed him out and called a foul on Holland Foul. I think it's his second. Yep, it is. Team sixth. Wiswery at the line left for Unity Christian. Runes by eight, 6.05 left, first half. Was where he's left-handed free throws up and good. Two for him tonight. One more coming. Halftime show coming up brought to you by Al Terman at Union Home Mortgage. We'll have a scoring summary brought to you by ZR Graphics in downtown Zealand. Was where he made them both. Make it 23-17. And now full court pressure from Unity. No problem. Halbert Van Weeren lost it to Vancouver in turnover number seven. Westbury running the other way. Fires it up on the run and got it to go. Boy, and you turn it over. They are under their own basket in a hurry. And now the Maroons do it again. Eight turnovers. Just trying the long pass. They talked about this and talked about this and talked about this in practice. You cannot throw lazy passes against Unity. Somehow it's still. Playing triple team. Dr. Veldhaus, 17-footer on the way. No good from the left baseline. And Veldhaus tracks it down, kind of took it away from Overway. Here's Takens with it for Unity. Takens, Vancouvering, three ball from the left. Will not go down. Takens, offensive rebound. Tied up by Halbert. Good job by Halbert to get two hands on the basketball. And here comes Brady Howe for Holland Christian, replacing Logan DeWitt. And it'll be Unity's ball on the baseline right side. Pretty interesting extended minutes on the bench here for Ethan Aldering. Westbury, left corner takens, was open for a moment. Overway got there. He'll exchange places with Veldhaus. Veldhaus has to dribble it up through the wing, lob it into TJ. TJ guarded by Van Weeren on the left block, in the lane, threw it away. Turnover number five for Unity, and that's going to be a bump on Mutman. And I think it's Vancouvering, and it is. If you're a Unity fan, that's what you call a silly foul on T.J. Vancouvering. His first team seventh. That will give the Maroons a one-and-one one opportunity, or it should anyway. Or are they going to say now that's the team sixth? Well, now they've caught up with me. I've got six, and they've got six. So somebody... Here's Van Weeren with it at the top. To the right elbow with the dribble. Can't do anything there. Hands it to Brady Howe. Near steal there. Halbert's got it. Back to Howe, left corner. Howe working his way toward the baseline. Finds Van Weeren mid post. Right out to Halbert for three. No, way short. And this is going to be Mutma with an over the back as Takens had the good position. And this will be shots for Unity. Seventh team foul, Holland Christian. It is Mutma's foul. His first team's seventh. One, two, three, four. Well, that was Holland Christian I was messed up on. Sorry. Unity were right. Let's stop keeping track of Rogers' mistakes tonight, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> Takens, free throw, good. 13 against the Maroons back in January. That's his first point here tonight. Cuts the Maroon lead to 23-20 with 4.39 left to play in the first half. 
Takens again, good again. Full court pressure, Unity, no problem this time. Aldering back on the court for the Maroons. Big Euro step inside, had the ball blocked and taken away. But Vancouver slams the ball down. Maroon fans want a technical call on TJ. They don't, but TJ picks up his second. And this will be two shots, or one and one for Ethan Aldering. Should be one and one, yep. So all drink at the strike, as we said, a 75% free throw shooter. Take it back. I was looking at Halbert. Aldrink's actually an 81% free throw shooter, but he missed that one. Here's Veldhouse, mid post right, working on Halbert. Got all the way to the block and put it up and in. That's your super sophomore, Zach Veldhouse. Team has to pick it up, fights his way up and draws the foul. Good, strong move by Ethan Aldrink. And that foul is on Zach Veltaus. It'll be his second. Slager's in. Vancouvering will take his two fouls to the bench. And Aldrink will go back to the stripe. Averaging 16.7 a game. He's the Maroons' leading scorer. Held to just six points against Unity with an ailing hip back in January. Made the first. Bonus coming. Aldering just three points, all from the strike so far tonight. This one's on the way, and good. Now full court pressure by Holland Christian. For the first time, Chandler Collins will bring it up the middle of the court. He'll take it right down the lane and throw it over, up, up over Van Weeren and hit it. Chandler Collins with five, and tied again at 25, and now Veldhaus with an ear steal. But Overway is going to check back in for Holland Christian, and so is Evan Neuenheis for Unity. It's going to be Veldhaus to sit down for Unity, and Van Weeren is out of the game for Holland Christian. It's amazing to watch the Crusaders. They almost bait you into those passes and then just are so easily able to knock them out of bounds. Halfway through the second period, tied at 25. Was it sideline left for Aldrin? He'll dribble toward the top of the key. Still with it, crossover, spin, right corner, wide open, Halbert, three ball, no. And over the back of the backboard it goes, and out of bounds to Unity. Still tied with 339 left in the second. Slager will throw it in. One-man pressure in the backcourt, trying to deny Whistler, he is Brady Howe. Neuenheis says, that's okay, I'll bring it up. And he does. Now stopping three feet inside the timeline, Evan Neuenheis. left side, got around Overway, and they're going to say he quit. Six, and it's called on Noah Wiswery, his second. Player control foul, no shots. It is the team's ninth foul, foul rather, in this half. Colin Christian got a break on that one. Still tied, 314 left. Brady Howe across the timeline, picks up his dribble. Off the right elbow to Overway. Overway outside the arc now, faces the basket, drives, tried to get it underneath, and threw it away. Turnover number nine. Whisbury running all the way in. Got around Aldrink easily, and Whisbury with another basket. He's got seven. Now Aldrink standing just outside the arc right with the crossover dribble into the lane. Aldrink works his way free for a 10-footer. That's good. First field goal for Aldrink. He's got six, tied at 27. 2.43 left in the half. Neuenheis with it for Unity on the left wing. Up top between the rings to Wiswery. Screen from Takens. Takens rolls toward the basket. Wiswery takes it himself on Aldrich. Aldrich. Lane kicks it left side. Wide open Helbert. Three ball. No. Offensive rebound overway. He'll dribble it out of trouble and try and take it right back in, but he lost it out of bounds. He'll say touched last by Slager. Think the Bruins got another break. Wiswery is going to sit down. Grant Bolser is in. And also coming in for Unity is Luke Snoink. When Jackson Halbert is shooting those threes, he's almost better when someone's in his face. Slager sits down in favor of Snoink. Quarter court left. Mutman to throw it in. To Brady Howe, deep left. Howe around a screen by Aldrink. In the left corner to Mutman. Lob it underneath for Aldrink. Aldrink up off the glass and good. 
Aldrink working his way in. Double teamed on the sideline. Neuenheis gets it mid post left to Snowink. Out for a three ball that's no good. Thrown up by Balser. And here comes Overway with a one hand pass ahead to Howe. He'll leave it for Aldrink. Three ball. No. Nice. Neuenheis to Balser. Left side taken. Bounce it underneath. Snowink up off the glass and good. Snowink running the court. Got great position underneath. And got his first basket of the night. Tied at 29. Minute and a half left. Great interior pass there by Balser. In the first half, here is Brady Howe with it. Stops, wing left. Unity fans thought he traveled. Aldrink touched on the way by by Neuenheis. They are calling this one tight. Neuenheis picks up his second. That's the team's tenth, so this will be two for Ethan Aldrink. Now the officials <laughs> are helping Holland Christian stay in this one with all the fouls they're calling. And Coach Sotsma is having a serious discussion with one of them at this point. Aldering's free throw is good. Give him nine. Vancouvering back in. Takens to sit out. One more coming for Ethan. See if he can make the lead two. It's on the way. And good. So Aldering first player into double figures with ten. Several substitutions. Aldrich's going to sit down. Logan DeWitt's in. Brady Howe is out. And Case Vanderzee is back in for the Maroons. They'll play half-court defense, leading by two. Unity brings it up. This is Balser with it. Grant, center circle. Vancouvering deep right. Bounce it mid-post right to Collins. Collins, one dribble. Turn around, fade away. Good. Chandler Collins. Collins with a great first half for Unity. Seven points. And here's Overway for the Maroons. Up to Muckma, tie game at 31. Under a minute to play in the first half. And a travel call down Vince Overway on the sideline. That's 10 turnovers for Helen Christian. So, Coach Sotsman wanted to get Whistler in, but he didn't get to the scorer's table quickly enough. So, Balser dribbling. Up near the timeline, hand it to Neuenheis. 41 seconds left in the half. Tied at 31. See if Coach Sotsma wants one shot here. It looks like it. Neuenheis, just a couple of feet inside the timeline. Overway comes out on him, pokes at it, doesn't get it. Now Neuenheis, again, just a couple of feet inside the timeline. He backs in on Logan DeWitt and then out toward the line. Then he gets around DeWitt momentarily. Logan catches up, and that's a five-second call. Great defense by Logan DeWitt. Seven turnovers against the Crusaders. Maroons get another shot with 15.6 seconds left. And Coach Poole very quickly gets Ethan Aldrink in to replace Case Vanderzee. Great job by DeWitt moving his feet on defense there. And never really came close to following him. He just cut him off every time that uh, the Unity player wanted to move. Logan DeWitt with 13. No need to be in a hurry. Aldrink, screen overway. Vancouvering all over Aldrink. Underneath, handed to Machma, and shot blocked out of bounds. Still Holland Christian ball with 4.6 seconds left. Great defense by Collins underneath to block that layup. See what Coach Cool calls here on the inbounds pass with 4.6 on the clock. Aldrink's going to throw it in. No lob it in front for overway. Quickly to Halbert. Halbert, the drive, hands it to Aldrink. His shot blocked by Vancouver. again with three and number three as we go to the locker room tied at 31 on the pledge. The busy season is upon us. Moms, you know what I mean. Endless days of running kids to school, sports, and anything else that comes up. With as much time as you'll be spending with your most precious cargo in the car, it makes sense to spend a few minutes making sure your ride is in tip-top shape. OK Tire is inviting you to stop in and let the pros check it all out. From tires to brakes, belts and hoses, and everything in between, we will make sure you're safe on the road. OK Tire, your hometown tire store in Holland, Hamilton, and Zeeland. Michigan Hearing Experts wants you to know the real effects of hearing loss. Hearing loss can signal dementia. It's true, but there's good news. Treating hearing loss can ward off dementia. It's time to treat hearing loss at Michigan Hearing Experts. Good folks with a heart for people. Not patients, people. Let's treat hearing loss in your life today. Michigan Hearing Experts in Holland, Grand Haven, Jenison and MichiganENTAllergy.com. All 
halftime show tonight brought to you by Al Pierman at Union Home Mortgage. For information and options on mortgages and refis, visit altierman.com. As a proud sponsor of Holland Christian Sports, Lensbalder Insurance is a local company striving to help local people. Lensbalder Insurance is here to make sure that you're prepared with the coverages you need. Giving you peace of mind is what they do, while offering a person-to-person relationship that you can't get with a large direct company. Lensbalder Insurance specializes in all your insurance needs, with coverage options including homeowners, auto, umbrella, and life. Online at LensBalderINS.com. At LensBalder Insurance, we've got your back. Imagine a program that equips you for success in the job market, the workplace, and the world. Calvin LifeWork does just that, taking the fear out of your first steps after college with Calvin. Learn about personal finances. Practice essential life skills for wherever God calls you. Then you'll earn a $3,000 scholarship when you complete the program. Yep, $3,000. Start your journey at calvin.edu slash discover slash life. And we are back with you at halftime from the Holland Civic Center. Our scoring center brought to you by ZR Graphics. For a large format printing signs, exhibitions, displays, and vehicle wraps, visit crgraphics.com. Ten turnovers, Unity with seven. It's been all Unity so far here in the seventh center tonight. Freshman game won by Unity, going to blow up the uh, junior varsity game. Uh, very close, 42-40. It ended up with the with win. Holland Christian led the varsity game at the end of the quarter, 17-13. They were scored 18-14 in the second period. That makes us 31-31 at the half. The only man in double figures for the ball game is Ethan Aldrink. He has 10 to lead everybody. Vince Overway got eight very early. Jackson Halbert has contributed seven. We have three apiece for Case Vanderzee and Chris Mutko. For Unity, balance scoring as usual. Noah Wisbury with seven and Chandler Collins with seven. T.J. Vancouvering held just four points in that first half. Three from Grant Balser, three from Evan Neuenheis, three from Zach Veldhaus, two from Ryan Takens, and two from Luke Snewink. And now looking at shooting stats here, Scott. All right, for Holland Christian in the first half, they were seven of 10 from the free throw line for 70%. Two point shots, six of 15 for 40%. Three-point field goals, four of 15 for 27%. Overall shooting for Holland Christian in the first half, 10 of 30 for 33%. For the Crusaders from Unity Christian, they were 7 of 10 also from the free throw line for 70%. 9 of 21 two-point shots for 43%. Unity just 2 of 10 from the three-point arc here in the first half for 20%. Overall shooting for Unity in the first half, 11 of 31 for 35%. And we have Holland Christian unofficially out rebounding Unity at the half, 14 to 9. Tie ball game at the half on the pledge. At Compound Door, an operator company, because of you, business is great. Truth is, we're too swamped for our own good. So we're keeping the legacy alive by hiring mechanically inclined, strong, ambitious people who like to work hard and take pride in their work. There's competitive pay for those eager to learn. Even better pay for those with experience and great references. Email your interest to customer service at compondor.com. That's customer service at compondor.com. Got our gas furnace working yet? Uh, afraid it's time to replace it. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Daikin, one of the top selling brands worldwide. Daikin. Daikin, extremely reliable, performance tested. Daikin. Daikin, super efficient, saving you lots of money on energy bills. Now I'm thinking Daikin. Call Bremer and Bauman at 396 7716 and ask about the $79 furnace tune up special. That's 396 7716. Much like the weather, your life could change at the drop of a hat. Don't be caught unprepared. You don't know what will happen tomorrow. But no matter what happens, you can make sure your loved ones are provided with a life insurance policy from Auto Owners Insurance. I'm Jacob Bonema, and I would love to meet with you and secure a policy now so that you can rest easy knowing you're protecting the ones you love. Visit me at Coop & Burr Insurance of Holland. 
That's Coop with a K Insurance. WPNW, Zealand, Holland, Hudsonville, Grand Rapids. Whether your goals include college education funding, retirement planning, generating income, or reducing taxes, at Cooley Godfrey Investment Group, we've got your solution. We make it easy for you to make the right decisions by offering you access to a comprehensive array of banking and investment solutions under one roof. Cooley Godfrey Investment Group is committed to helping you reach your goals. Stop in and speak with Carrie Cooley or Jack Godfrey today. Securities and advisory services offered through LPL Financial, a registered investment advisor. Member FINRA, SIPC. Our halftime show continues now, and it's the student spotlight. Holland Christian, we are pleased to welcome Chris Mutma, who is participating in several sports during his career here at Holland Christian. But what we really want to talk about is baseball. Chris, you you got some big shoes to fill. Your brother won a state championship two years ago. Uh, what are you looking forward to this spring? Yeah, I was blessed on that team as well, the state championship team. And, like, obviously you want to replicate what happened that year. And I think we have a good chance, good team this year, return all nine guys from last year's team. So I think we have a good run, good chance to make a run this year. If you had your way, would you enjoy more being your own man and not having to be compared to an older sibling? Or do you like it the way it, or it has worked out? Yeah, I think being kind of, I think you can compare us, but like still keep us separately at the same time. Because obviously being in the same family, like we have a lot of similarities. But I think we have different styles of play as well. So I think you got to keep us separate, but compare at the same time. Okay. A lot of us who are baseball fans remember, obviously, Mike's career here. How do you differ from him in style of play? I think he was, he was just more like his personality on the field was more like laid back, calm, like wasn't super vocal. And I'm kind of the opposite. Like I, I've been a captain of the team two years for like basketball and baseball. I, I'm just kind of a leader more out there, and like I play like more with more passion, more energy. Than I think he did. You're also a pitcher, right? I'm a pitcher. When you're not pitching, do you play another position? Yeah, I play first base. I thought so. Okay. I know that Coach Caserta has been a great influence on your life. Can you put words to that for me? I just think he just preaches how to be a better man, like, every day. Like, he walks us, helps, helps us walk through life. It's just more than, it's more than just baseball with him. And, like, just having the coach, like, the last four years, it's just, like, been a blessing for me. You've stayed fairly healthy throughout your baseball career, haven't you? That, that obviously is a blessing and something nobody has a lot of control over. But you've been part of a basketball team this year where your role has changed because of an injury to one of your teammates. How do you, how do you look at that? Do you, do you embrace that or, or is it a little bit of a struggle? Yeah, I think you just have to embrace it. I'm just trying to do whatever my coach wants me to do, like, for the best of the team. And if that means I need to change my role up a little bit, then, like, that's what it means to make our team successful. Well, you are one of the best passers as far as basketball is concerned that that I have seen in a very long time. And I know you play baseball. It, it's a different, it's a little bit more of an individual sport than is basketball. But I, I'm sure that unselfishness shows on the baseball field as well. Yeah, that definitely does. Well, good, Chris. Thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. All the best in the upcoming baseball season. And uh, as you said, if the stars align and God wills and everything works out good, you and your uh, older brother will be at Michigan State at the same time. Yes, sir. Thank that, you. That'd be fun for us to watch. Thank you very much. Craig Brink with Five Star Real Estate is a proud sponsor of today's Holland Christian game. Craig and his team salute the athletes and coaches at Holland Christian. Congratulations to you on your effort and dedication to your sport. Holland Christian has a tradition of hard work, perseverance, and fair play. These are the values Craig Brink learned as an athlete and graduate of Holland Christian and what he tries to apply each day on behalf of his real estate clients. Craig would be honored to serve you in your real estate needs. Put his 26 years of experience to work for you. Contact Craig Brink with Five Star Real Estate at Craig Brink.com. A great team doesn't happen overnight. It takes years of conditioning and hard work. It takes vision and a serious commitment to be the best you can be to strengthen and empower the team to its full potential. This is the legacy of Barber 4. From your first step into the showroom to your regular oil changes, even to service and body work, you can feel Barber Ford's deep commitment to serving you. And it reaches further than that into the community with a commitment to making a difference. Barber Ford new pre-owned service and body shop. Online at barberford.net. And we are back with you just in time for the beginning of the third quarter halftime show brought to you by Al Terman at Union Home Mortgage. And scoring summary brought to you by ZR Graphics. Holland Christian gets the ball in a tie game as we begin quarter number three. They'll go right to left in their home whites. 
Mutma will throw it in to Brady Howe out there with Aldrink, Halbert, and Overway. That's Vince Overway. Gabe still. If they get it to Mutma for a layup, that should be a goal tend, and it will be as Vancouvering knocked it away. But that's going to be a bucket for Overway. It was Overway or was it Mutma? I think that was Mutma. Yeah, I think you're right. We're going to give that one to Mutma. He's got five on the night. Now Unity's ball. Vancouvering on the block. Collins, nice cut to the basket. And a bucket. Indicating. Don't remember seeing an official do that. Now a throw away by the Maroons. Their 11th turnover. Here's Wiswery, left elbow. Left post, hand it to Collins. Great last second assist by Wiswery. And Unity takes a 35-33 lead. Just underway, third period. Here's Howe between the rings to Halbert on a weave to Overway. Vince working on Wiss where he throws. Right side, Aldrink. Aldrink drives. And no basket. Fouled before the shot by Noah Wiswery. Wiswery just picked up his third, team's first here in the second half. Brady Howe gets it baseline left to throw it in for the Maroons. And he'll lob it way out to the timeline for Aldrink. Aldrink quickly on Collins to the free throw line. Kicks it left side for Brady. Howe holding, dribbling at the top of the key. One hands it right side to Halbert. Halbert chased by Veldhaus, leaving Aldrink open for a moment on. The 7 35 Maroons, I think. Nope, tied at 35. Veldhaus. Spins at the free throw line to Vancouvering. Straight away, three off the catch, no good. On the It'll be his first, I think. Yep. We are tied at 35. Really impressed here tonight with the play of Chandler Collins. No right hand up the free throw, no good. Collins had five against the Maroons in January. He's got 11 here tonight to lead them in scoring. Vancouvering has had an off night shooting the ball. Still playing with all the energy in the world. Will Van Weeren's going to check in. Brady Howe's going to sit down. He'll put Aldrink at the point, and this is what you call the big lineup for Helen Christian. Collins, one more coming. A senior this year at Unity, and that one's good. So 12 for Collins, one-point lead Unity. Full court pressure, 1-3-1 one, one zone, trap, and Halbert nearly lost it, but got it to Makma. And, and that's a blocking foul on Will Van Weeren. Collins back to the strike to shoot two. Van Weeren picks up the personal foul. That is first to the team's second. Good hustle there by Van Weeren. He had a long ways to go to get to the basket and uh, fend off that shot. Collins fires the first. No good. One more coming. Unity by one. 5.58 left to play in the third period. And second one, rattles home. 13 on the night for Collins. Two-point lead, Unity, 37-35. Full court pressure. Maroon's having some trouble with it. All drink into the front court to Halbert. To Van Weren. Had it poked away by Vancouvering. Turnover number. Maroon's cannot get going here. And... We seem to have disconnected. So for our HC Live audience, give us just a second. And we will see if we can figure out how to get this worked out for our radio audience. Time out on the court. And there's no sense in playing commercials because we're not on here.
Scott, if you want to tell our uh, HC Live audience what's going on a little bit if you get a chance, and I'll attempt to uh, get us reconnected on the radio. That was a missed shot by Overway. Rebounded by Collins. Collins up and in, and the foul on Van Weeren. That written down. Free throw good by Collins. Holland Christian a little bit out of sorts here on offense here in the second half. Need to settle down here and get a bucket on this opportunity. Martin with it up top for the Bruins. Albert eyed the three, turned it down. Aldrin tried to split the defense and drew the foul. Aldrin's well, drawn a lot of fouls like that tonight, penetrating and then. That is Vancouver Inc.'s third, team second. Frank Bolster is going to check in for Unity. Unity by five at 40 35. We have four minutes, 45 seconds left to play. What a pass from Aldrich to Machno. For the basket. For three, that's no good, but they followed him in the person of Grant Bolser, and Machno is going to go to the line and shoot three. 40-37. And now we're back with you on the radio as well as on HC Live. Thank you for hanging in there with us. We have had some weird technical problems tonight. Hopefully uh, we'll be okay for the rest of the evening. And Mutma at the stripe. He made that free throw, right? Made the first one or not? Uh, no. Okay. Made the first one, missed the second, and missed the third. All right, got it. One for three. Kick first with 10. Two point game, lead for Unity. Neuenheis to Veldhaus, right wing. Veldhaus driving on Aldrin. Got around him. On Ethan Aldrin. Yep. Aldrin's second. I believe. Nope, it is his third. That was the one I missed in the first half. So that's his third team's fourth. Again, I hate to say it, but when these officials walked on the court, I told Scott, <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fouls called here tonight. And so far I was right. Just there, It's like there are two brands of officials now in high school basketball in Western Michigan, those that let them play and those that don't. And it's usually the more veteran officials that don't let them play. But in this day and age, high school basketball players like to play physically. And Mutmo. All that a walk. And that is the 15th turnover. Coach Poole being asked to uh, stay within the coaching box. Does not agree with that call and may have a point. Unity 42, Holland Christian 38. New and Ice between the rings. House will drive and miss the shot but draw the foul. That might be four on Aldering. It is. Ethan Aldering with four and again, Unity doing this intentionally, going inside, knowing that Ethan has a tendency to. Uh, Go up for the blocks. So Veldhaus, the sophomore, buries the free throw. He's got six on the ball game. And the lead is five. Case Vanderzee is in. Aldrink's going to have to sit down with those four fouls. 
very frustrating evening here for Ethan Ulrich. Galvaos up and good again. And if he has to spend a lot of time on the bench, the Maroons are in trouble just like they were back in January at Unity. Halbert, nice reverse, hands it to DeWitt to the elbow, overway up top. 18 footer left side, no good. Offensive rebound, Makma up and good. He was followed by Collins over the back, no call. Makma with 12. And it's a 44-40 lead for Unity. Here's Neuenheis, left side to Takens. To the left elbow and hands to Veldhaus for three. Got it. Zach Veldhaus. 47-40, Unity's biggest lead of the night. Under three to play in the third. DeWitt leaves it for Halbert. Albert bounce pass right side overway. He'll pull up and hit it from 10 feet. Baseline right. Vince overway. That's 10 for Vince. Takens. He really hasn't played much in this one. Up top for Collins. He walked. By Chandler Collins. Just the eighth turnover for Unity. Maroons looking to cut into the Crusaders' five-point lead as Luke Snowing checks back in. And Slager's going to sit down. Half-court defense this trip by Unity as Logan DeWitt brings it up for the Maroons. Unity by five. Overway on a weave to Halbert. Halbert, right wing, up top for Machma. Left wing, Vanderzee, inside overway. And a hold called on Takens. Nice job by Overway there, calling for the basketball. Takens first, team's fourth. Wiswery and Vancouvering back in. Takens and Collins will sit down. Two starters for two starters. And Logan DeWitt to throw it in, baseline left. Lob it in for Muckma on the way, quickly up top to Halbert. Back to DeWitt for a three over the Muckma screen, no good. And nice rebound by Snewing to Wiswery. Here comes Unity. Wiswery back to the basket, hands it to Veldhaus. Veldhaus across the top of the key, fell down. They're going to call a block on Logan DeWitt. Just because he fell down, Logan DeWitt, honestly, folks, did not touch him. Logan's third, team sixth, and if the Holland Christian fans weren't against these officials before, they certainly are now. Coach Cool, absolutely beside himself after that call. Quarter court right. Wiswery into Vancouvering on the three-point line. Lobs it underneath for Snowing. Couldn't handle the pass. Gets it out to Neuenheis. Behind the back dribble. He almost fell down. Left side for Veldhaus. Veldhaus up top. Neuenheis. Neuenheis to the right elbow with the dribble. At the free throw line. Snowing underneath Vancouvering. Airball to And Helbert is going to come away with it. 47-42 unity. Minute and a half left third period. Halbert all the way in for the left-handed layup, and it's good. What a seize parted for Jackson Halbert that time. Got the easy layup. 47-44. Here's Vancouvering for three. No good. Rebound to Overway. Here come the Maroons down by three. Halbert, they leave him alone for a long three, and it's good. We're tied. Well, that seven-point lead went away in a hurry, didn't it? Jackson Halbert, one of the streakiest shooters you'll ever see. Here's Whistlery on the right wing, poked away by Vanderzee. And what are they going to call? A foul on Whistlery. So that is four on Whistlery. The ninth turnover on Unity. Here comes Balser off the bench. Grant replaces Whistlery. Both teams need now struggling with foul trouble here. Still in the third quarter. From three-quarter court, Mukma into DeWitt. Tie game, 56 seconds left, third period. DeWitt up top. We were tied at the half. We're tied again. Van Overway, leaves it for Vanderzee. Vanderzee, a shot fake. No looks it to Halbert. Halbert up top to DeWitt. Great ball movement, Holland Christian. Left corner, Overway. 37 seconds left at the end of the third period. DeWitt to the elbow, spins. Out to Vanderzee for three. No. And a rebound pulled out of there by Snowing for Unity. 25 seconds left and the third period tie game. Balser up to Neuenheis, back to Balser in the center circle. And they'll play catch and go for one shot with 16. 
New and Ice Maroon fans trying to convince Unity there's less time left than there is. Vancouvering, not fooled. Gets it back outside. Veldhouse for three. No. And that rebound into the hands of Overway. And there is the buzzer before the shot. So And again, I make the same silly mistake. I know. When I redo things, that I have to make this maneuver. So uh, what do you think of that third period here, Scott? Yeah, yeah, and then I leave your mic off. See, I keep making the same mistake over and over. Holland Christian certainly needed that run. They fell behind by seven points there midway through the quarter and went on a little bit of a run. Both teams here in a little bit of foul trouble. Aldrink with four fouls. Wiswary with four fouls for the Crusaders. And, uh, yeah, we got an exciting one here tonight from the Civic Center. Let me get a spot break in here. Imagine a program that equips you for success in the job market, the workplace, and the world. Calvin LifeWork does just that, taking the fear out of your first steps after college. With Calvin College's innovative life readiness program, you'll explore different career paths, learn about personal finances, practice essential life skills for wherever God calls you. Then you'll earn a $3,000 scholarship when you complete the program. Yep, $3,000. Start your journey at calvin.edu slash discover slash life. Back with you to start the fourth period. Tied at 47. Unity's ball. They go left to right. Collins looking to get it in to Bolser. He's got it to the baseline, to the basket. Shot blocked. Taken away. Case Vanderzee. He'll leave it for Logan DeWitt. Here come the Maroons. Long pass ahead to Helbert. Helbert, a couple of dribbles up at the top of the key. And threw it away. Balser with the steal, turnover number 16 for Holland Christian. And here's Collins just running to the basket and putting it up and in, uncontested. 18 for Chandler Collins, unity by two. Just underway, fourth period. Overway with it on top for Holland to Christian. Spins around, gets away from Balser. 16-footer is an air ball short. Muckmas saves it out to Halbert. Halbert launches the three, no good. And again, we have a whistle. Anderzee in there going for the basketball. And I think they're going to call the foul on Case. He's the one that ended up laying on the floor. He wants to know what he did wrong. Got a very calm explanation. Anderzee's first. For, that's seven already on the team. So Unity's going to be in, in the bonus this entire fourth period. Snoik at the stripe for Unity. Two points on the night. Didn't score against the Maroons back in January. In fact, I don't think he played. I don't remember that he played at all that night. His free throw is good. One more coming. 50, 47 unity, 7. Game show will be brought to you by Mark Hopp, your local Farm Bureau insurance representative in Holland. We'll have an offensive player of the game from Verhaeg Motors and a defensive player of the game from Vanderlaan Home Improvement. It's new it. Up, Aldrink's going to check back in. Carrying four fouls, replacing Vanderzee. Find it interesting, neither coach has called a timeout yet in this ball game. Take it back. Holland Christian has called one according to the scoreboard. I just don't remember it. There's a lot of stuff that has gone. <laughs> I, I don't remember. Aldrich dribbling for the Maroons up top, guarded by Slager, leaves it. Halbert wide open from the right, no good. And Vancouvering the rebound for Unity. Maroons needed that one. Now Snoink running all the way to the basket, double team, splits it, puts it up and in. Snoink, a very good inside player. He's got six, and it's 53-47 Unity. Here's Aldrink with it, top of the key. And that's a reach-in foul called on Unity. And I think they got Snoink. Yep, his second, two, three, four, five, six on the team. Belthouse wanted to check back in, but he didn't get there quickly enough. DeWitt has it up top for Aldrink. Aldrink pull up from the free throw line. Partially blocked. Mutma comes away with the ball. Nice pass. DeWitt touches it to Overway in the corner to Halbert. Halbert dribbles it, dribbles it up to the wing. Hands to Overway on a weave. Overway guarded by Vancouvering, which is why he has slowed down here in the second half. Muckman's got it right side. Up top, Aldrink thought about it. Balser got there quickly. Now DeWitt 
Back to Aldrink for three. No. And the long rebound goes out of bounds. And Unity will get the ball back, leading by six with 6.03 left in the game. Here's Belthouse to check in to replace Snowing. So Slager will trigger it almost to the baseline. And he'll get it into Vancouvering and now to Grant Bolser. Say that again. Maroons have yet to score here in this quarter. And now we finally get the timeout called by Unity. And this will be a 30-second timeout. That'll give me a chance to remind you that the 2019 Champs coupon books are an exceptional value and are usable at a variety of places, including restaurants and golf courses. Stop by Holland Christian, Russ's Restaurants, or the quality car wash gas stations to pick up this year's Champs coupon book. Champs supports athletics at Holland Christian and Zealand Christian schools. 53-47, Unity leads it. Maroons, just a game, well, actually a half game behind uh, the Crusaders in the league. Unity can put a lock on the OK Green title with a win here tonight. They sure can. Assuming they don't stumble unexpectedly somewhere along the way. Baldhouse gets it into Vancouvering. Now to Balser. Vancouvering sticks around to set a screen. Balser at the free throw line to Collins. Lob it underneath Slager. Slager, fadeaway turnaround, no good. And a rebound to Aldrink for Holland Christian. Six points down. Here come the Maroons with 5.44 left in the game. And an extra step by Aldrink. Turnover number 17 for Holland Christian. The 20 turnovers in January at Unity were there on doing there in a 21-point loss. Here it's a lot closer, but still, without the turnovers, the Maroons could be in much better shape. Some Balser will bring it up in a hurry on DeWitt. Good job, Logan, to stick with him. Balser all the way in, no, and this time they're going to call the bump on Logan DeWitt before the shot. That is four on DeWitt. So two Holland Christian players now carrying four fouls, one Unity player carrying four. Logan. Getting an explanation. And Grant Bolser to the stripe for Unity. Three points on the evening. Up and no good. Rebound. Tipped by Slager and taken by Slager. Well, you can't let him get offensive rebounds off of missed free throws. And now Collins, as he always is, under the basket to up and throw it in. He's got 20. And there's a get all messed up, and they're going to call the foul on Aldrin. Nope, they're not. They're going to call the foul on Unity. And now the Unity players and coaches are just all kinds of crazy. Boy, he pointed at Aldrin there, and I thought That's he what was I thought. <laughs> Vancouver just picked up his fourth. Coach Sotsma asked to uh, stay in his coaching box. So Aldrin at the stripe for the Maroons. Ten points, but all of them in the first half. And got it. Sometimes you just need to see the ball go through. Snewink's going to replace Vancouvering, who takes his four fouls to the bench. Unity are doing a lot better job than the Maroons getting to the line here in this half. 5 14 left in the ballgame. 15 total fouls called already in this second half. Aldrink makes again, give him 12, and make the 5-10 left. Collins is screened for Bolser. Bolser stops just inside the free throw line. Pops, no. Rebound tipped out by Slager. Out of bounds to Holland Christian. Coach Sotsma saying grab the ball. Coaches hate that when you just tip it out instead of grabbing a hold of it underneath the basket. Half-court defense. Pretty much man-to-man -man variety as DeWitt has it poked away from behind by Bolser, but out of bounds harmlessly to the Maroons. Here's Wiswery carrying four fouls back in to replace Balser. Just under five minutes left in the game. Unity by six. Holland Christian ball. Quarter court right. DeWitt to throw it in. Logan looking up top for Helbert. Helbert guarded by Snoink on a weave. Hands it to Aldrink. They switch on that screen. Aldrink up top. DeWitt. DeWitt down the left side of the lane. Stops on the block. Gets it back out to Overway for three. No. 
And rebound on the deck. Mutma picks it up and needs to call timeout, and he got it. Timeout, Colin Christian. Good heady play by Mutma. And this will be a 30-second timeout. As we just said, the 2019 Champs coupon books are an exceptional value. Usable at a variety of places, including restaurants and golf courses. You can stop by Holland Christian, Russ's Restaurants, or the quality car wash gas stations to pick up this year's Champs coupon book. Champs supports athletics at Holland Christian and Zealand Christian Schools. 55-49 unity, 435 left. And if the Maroons can find the shooting touchback, Scott, and hang on to the basketball, they've got a chance to stay in this one. I think they're going to need maybe Jackson Halbert or maybe Tim Al- or Ethan Alderink here to make a couple threes to get them back in this. DeWitt, Halbert, Mottma, Overway, and Aldrin for Holland Christian. Starting five except for DeWitt. Brady Howe actually got to start at the one spot in this one. Unity has Whispery, Slager, Collins, Velthouse, and Snewink out there. DeWitt had to catch the lob in the backcourt. Off the right elbow, this is Overway. Up top for Halbert. On a weave to Aldrin. Aldrink eyeing the lane, takes it down, couple of big steps, missed the layup, rebound, over. And now Veldhaus has it poked away by Martin. I think they're going to call a foul on Martin on this one. Yep, it is Martin's foul. Again, a Unity player sort of fell down of his own volition. Both of them going after the basketball. Just the second for Martin. Ninth on the team, however. One and one, sophomore Zach Veldhaus. Well, if nothing else, this is good preparation for tournaments because this is the way tournament games are called for the most part. Veldhaus up and good with the free throw. What's interesting is these two teams are likely to meet each other in the district semifinals. Come the last week of February. And now Mutton with a little blood on the left elbow, so he quickly gets that taped up at the Holland Christian bench. And I think they're going to let him come right back in. I hope. And now they've got to clean up the uniform a little bit. And the official saying, let's go. And <laughs> Coach Sotsmo is going to make sure they... Uh, Either got him back in there or replaced him. Meanwhile, Veldhaus, now two of the officials talking about something at the free throw line. One shot coming for Veldhaus. He has 11 on the night. And it's now an eight-point lead for Unity. Big hill to climb with 4.13 left to play. Not impossible. On a weave to Aldrink, reverses. Hands it to Halbert. Halbert sees the lane. In the lane. Scoops right hand. No. Rebound, Slager. Offhand for Halbert. We've seen him make that one, but not that time. Now Veldhaus, and here's where Unity will start to slow it down. In fact, we have a timeout. We're back in a moment on the pledge. Know the real effects of hearing loss. Hearing loss can signal dementia. It's true, but there's good news. Treating hearing loss can ward off dementia. It's time to treat hearing loss at Michigan Hearing Experts. Good folks with a heart for people. Not patients, people. Let's treat hearing loss in your life today. Michigan Hearing Experts in Holland, Grand Haven, Jenison, and MichiganENTAllergy.com. As a proud sponsor of Holland Christian Sports, Lensbalder Insurance is a local company striving to help local people. Lensbalder Insurance is here to make sure that you're prepared with the coverages you need. Giving you peace of mind is what they do, while offering a person-to-person relationship that you can't get with a large direct company. Lensbalder Insurance specializes in all your insurance needs, with coverage options including homeowners, auto, umbrella, and life. Online at LensBalderINS.com. At LensBalder Insurance, we've got your back. Just three minutes and 51 seconds left to play in this ball game. Unity with an eight-point lead at 57 to 49. Talking about tournaments in the quarterfinal of the district, Unity has to play Allendale. Holland Christian has a bye. And then on Wednesday night of that last week in February, it will be Holland Christian against the winner of the Unity-Allendale game. 
Unity just beat Allendale Saturday night. Now Veldhouse with it for the Crusaders. Quarter court left. Collins open on the baseline. Chandler Collins has been unstoppable tonight. He's got 22. That'll make the lead 10. Helbert to the basket. And got it. And one for Jackson Helbert. Althouse picks up his third. That is eight on the team. One coming for Helbert. A 75% free throw shooter. If he gets this one, he's got twice his average. And he does. 15 for Helbert. Whoa. Foul called on the rebound. And it is on Slager. So the Maroons will put... Aldrink right back at the line. Slager's first, team's ninth. How about that? Wow. These officials have created some of their own problems, but now it seems like they're determined to make sure that nothing gets out of hand here. So Halbert was there. Now it's Aldrink. Up and good. Well, this is a break for Holland Christian. They get to make five points on this trip without the clock running. Aldrink has been steady as he has been all year from the free throw line. And he's got them both. 14 for Ethan. All of a sudden, it's a five point lead for Unity. Full court pressure, Holland Christian. Wiss worried about that. Mutmus saves it. And timeout called by Holland Christian. Mutmus got another timeout call with the ball. The object of our student spotlight at halftime. Hope you heard that. Chris Mutman. And I don't know that he's got a 30 left. This will be a full timeout. We're back in a moment. The busy season is upon us. Moms, you know what I mean. Endless days of running kids to school, sports, and anything else that comes up. With as much time as you'll be spending with your most precious cargo in the car, it makes sense to spend a few minutes making sure your ride is in tip-top shape. OK Tire is inviting you to stop in and let the pros check it all out. From tires to brakes, belts and hoses, and everything in between, we will make sure you're safe on the road. OK Tire, your hometown tire store in Holland, Hamilton, and Zeeland. It's the last thing you see when you leave your house, and the first thing you see when you arrive home. Old, dull, boring. It's your garage door. It's time for a Clopay garage door from Quality Door Company. Go modern with wood, steel, maybe even more of a contemporary look with aluminum and glass. Freshen up the first and last thing you see at home with a garage door from Quality Door Company, a Clopay master authorized dealer. Holland, Grand Rapids, Muskegon, and South Haven. Online at qualitydoor.biz. Alan Christian's ball trailing by five with 3.02 left in the lane. Mutmus finds Overway outside right. Good. Overway has been real quiet in the second half, but he's got 12 and it's 59 56. Collins with it. He walked and they didn't call it. Vancouvering to the right elbow with the dribble. Bounces it up to Wiswery. Left side, Veldhaus. Maroons chasing and right open into the back. 61 56 unity 230 left in a ball game Halbert with it for the Maroons hands it on a weave to Aldrink Aldrink into the lane lost control got away with it overway three ball got it from the right Vince overway all of a sudden on fire Helen Christian will be back in a moment your score Unity 61, Maroons 59. Whether your goals include college education funding, retirement planning, generating income, or reducing taxes, at Cooley Godfrey Investment Group, we've got your solution. We make it easy for you to make the right decisions by offering you access to a comprehensive array of banking and investment solutions under one roof. Cooley Godfrey Investment Group is committed to helping you reach your goals. Stop in and speak with Kerry Cooley or Jack Godfrey today. Securities and advisory services offered through LPL Financial, a registered investor. Advisor, member FINRA, SIPC. 218 left in the ball game. 61 59 as the Maroons have clawed their way back from 10 down here in the second half. So, half court defense by the Maroons. And here is Wisbury to throw it across to Veldhaus. Veldhaus just inside the timeline, glances at, glances at Coach Sotsma, takes it to mid post right, and dribbles it back out of trouble. 
Now he spins on Helbert, takes it underneath, gets double teamed, tries to fire it up, missed the shot. Rebound by Vancouvering. How did he get that ball? Vancouvering takes it back out. He's double teamed to Collins out of the right corner. Collins, one dribble, double teamed in the lane to Slager. Slager's layup is good. So Slager gets his second basket here in the fourth period. And now Aldrink down the lane has his shot blocked, but it is a foul called on Unity. And we'll check with the official. Aldrink's going to go to the line to shoot twice. That foul is on Belthouse. That'll be four on Belthouse. Unity by four, 63 59, 140 left. Ethan Aldrink can cut it back to three if he can make two here. The yeah, first one is good. His last seven points have come from the free throw line. To make it 63-61 on the way, yes. 16 for Ethan. Now full court pressure, Holland Christian. Bell. Minute and 37 left. Runs down by a deuce. Wiswery with it. Double teamed over to Belthouse. Pretty soon you think about maybe committing a foul. Belthouse hands it to Vancouver inside line right. He'll dribble it up to the top of the key, hand it to Wiswery on the screen. Wiswery looking around. Unity willing to take as much time as they can until they find exactly the shot they want. Belthouse up top to Wiswery with a minute and nine left. Back to Belthouse. Touch pass Vancouvering. Vancouvering to Collins. Slager was open underneath. He wanted it instead. Collins will step up to the bucket and throw it in. 24 for Chandler Collins. Under a minute. Maroons down four. Aldrich around a screen from Mokma. Poked away by Slager. Loose on the deck. Held the ball. Alternating possession to Holland Christian. So the Maroons still with a chance. Down four. 49.6 seconds left. They don't need a three, but they do need something in a relative hurry. Mokma quarter court right in front of the student section to throw it in. Official making sure that uh, Chris is not bleeding. And he's not. So into DeWitt. On a weave to Aldrink. 46 seconds left. Maroons down four. That is the 18th turnover for Holland Christian. 65, 61, 41.9 left. Aldrink's going to sit down, and Brady Howe is going to check in to play defense. Ethan's got four fouls. So they don't want to lose him. Three-quarter court, left side. Belthouse into Westbury. And he runs into DeWitt. Falls down. Nearly got up again, which would have been a walk. Here bounces it under. Collins. Fouled semi-intentionally by Jackson Helbert. Jackson's second. That puts the Maroons over the limit, so this will be two for Chandler Collins. Unity by four, 26.4 seconds left. Looking to keep their OK green record spotless. And looks like they've got a pretty good chance to do so. Thanks to this young man, Chandler Collins, who just made his 25th point of the night. Aldrink's back in to play offense. Brady Howell will sit down. One more for Collins. Make it a full two-possession game. And he does. Six down, 26.4 left. Logan Walk called, wasn't. Aldrink kicks it out, throws it away. Logan couldn't get to it. Turnover number 19. Brady Howe for Aldrich. 18.9 seconds left. Unity by six with it. Belthouse looking to get it in from the sideline. Threw it away. Tenth turnover for Unity. Overway for three. Won't go. That'll do it. And now Vancouvering fouled on the rebound. Howe and Helbert were both there. This is Brady Howe's foul. His second. Maroons over the limit. So T.J. Vancouvering lumbers his way. Well, he can tell he's been in a ball game. Discussing things with Vince Overway on the way down the court. Instead, it's going to be Slager to go to the line. Thought it was Vancouvering, but it's not. It's Derek Slager. 
Four points on the night for Slager. Up and good. I'll tell you what. By the time you get to regionals, Unity's going to run into the likes of Benton Harbor and Otsego. One loss between those two teams at this point. But uh, Unity's a pretty solid ball club this year. Absolutely. Slager good again. It's Benton Harbor that took him out last year in basketball in the regionals. All drink up top. Pull up three. Got it. 19 for All Rink. Timeout on the court. And we better wait for the officials this time. See what they've got. And this will be full. Got our gas furnace working yet? Uh, afraid it's time to replace it. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Daikin, one of the top selling brands worldwide. Daikin. Daikin, extremely reliable, performance tested. Daikin. Daikin, super efficient, saving you lots of money on energy bills. Now I'm thinking Daikin. Call Bremer and Bauman at 396 7716 and ask about the $79 furnace tune up special. That's 396 7716. A great team doesn't happen overnight. It takes years of conditioning and hard work. It takes vision and a serious commitment to be the best you can be to strengthen and empower the team to its full potential. This is the legacy of Barber Four. From your first step into the showroom to your regular oil changes, even to service and body work, you can feel Barber Four's deep commitment to serving you. And it reaches further than that into the community with a commitment to making a difference. Barber Ford new pre-owned service and body shop. Online at barberford.net. All right, just 6.8 seconds left in this one. Unity with the ball in the lead at 69-64. Here's a long outlet for Vancouvering, and he's going to miss a wide-open layup. Muckma rebounds with three. Muckma got the shot off. And Holland Christian, 64. Back with our post-game show in a moment here on the play. Imagine a program that equips you for success in the job market, the workplace, and the world. Calvin LifeWork does just that, taking the fear out of your first steps after college. With Calvin College's innovative life readiness program, you'll explore different career paths, learn about personal finances, practice essential life skills for wherever God calls you. Then you'll earn a $3,000 scholarship when you complete the program. Yep, $3,000. Start your journey at calvin.edu slash discover slash LifeWork. At Compound Door and Operator Company, because of you, business is great. Truth is, we're too swamped for our own good. So we're keeping the legacy alive by hiring mechanically inclined, strong, ambitious people who like to work hard and take pride in their work. There's competitive pay for those eager to learn. Even better pay for those with experience and great references. Email your interest to customer service at compounddoor.com. That's customer service at compounddoor.com. The busy season is upon us. Moms, you know what I mean. Endless days of running kids to school, sports, and anything else that comes up. With as much time as you'll be spending with your most precious cargo in the car, it makes sense to spend a few minutes making sure your ride is in tip-top shape. OK Tire is inviting you to stop in and let the pros check it all out. From tires to brakes, belts and hoses, and everything in between, we will make sure you're safe on the road. OK Tire, your hometown tire store in Holland, Hamilton, and Zeeland. Michigan hearing experts want you to know the real effects of hearing loss. Hearing loss can signal dementia. It's true, but there's good news. Treating hearing loss can ward off dementia. It's time to treat hearing loss at Michigan hearing experts. Good folks with a heart for people, not patients, people. Let's treat hearing loss in your life today. Michigan hearing experts in Holland, Grand Haven, Jenison and MichiganENTAllergy.com. Our post-game show brought to you by Mark Hopp, your local Farm Bureau insurance representative in Holland. For prompt personal insurance services, call Mark, Joe Bauman, or Matt Neal at 396-5728. And our scoring summary brought to you by ZR Graphics in downtown Zealand. Again, turnovers, the bugaboo for Holland Christian against Unity. 20 in the meeting in January, 19 here tonight against just 10 for the Crusaders. Clean sweep for Unity. They won the freshman game. They won the junior varsity game. And they won the varsity game 69-64. It was Holland Christian by four after one, 17-13. Tied at the half, 31-31. Tied after three, 47-47. Unity pulls away 22-17 in the final period 
And they win it by five at 69-64. Individually for Unity Christian, a great night, and I do mean a great night for Chandler Collins. He scored five points against the Maroons back in January. He had 26 here tonight on what was admittedly an off night for T.J. Vancouvering. He had just four points and all of those in the first half. So you hold Vancouvering scoreless for a half, you figure you can win, right? Yeah, not so much because Chandler Collins stepped up and threw in 26. They had nobody else in double figures. For the Maroons, 19 for Ethan Aldring to lead them, 15 apiece for Vince Overway and Jackson Halbert. Four guys in double figures as Chris Mutma chipped in 12 points, and the other three came from Case Vanderzee. Unity wins it by a score of 69-64. Back in a moment on the pledge. As a proud sponsor of Holland Christian Sports, Lensbalder Insurance is a local company striving to help local people. Lensbalder Insurance is here to make sure that you're prepared with the coverages you need. Giving you peace of mind is what they do while offering a personal